Today I'm going to talk about the six things I wish I had known about watercolor painting when I first started as an adult. Number one, I wish I had known that it was okay to take a class. There's this idea in the art world that it's better to be self-taught. And there's certainly nothing wrong with being self-taught. However, I didn't have the persistence to fail that many times. The other arts don't really have this stigma. In drama, they have directors who help them teach, learn, and they go to school. And in writing, they certainly go to school and start learning creative writing very early. And then they have editors who help them to have better work. When I first started watercolor, I had some really epic failures. And I didn't even want to show them to my husband. I didn't want to show them to anybody. I was I threw them away. I wish now that I had kept them so that I could show them to you. Then 15 years ago, my husband gave me a watercolor class and that turned everything around. One of the things that I wish I had known at the beginning was that it's okay to copy. The old masters, when they had students, they had them copy their work for two years before they were allowed to create anything of their own. When you copy at first, you don't try to change the photo, you try to copy the photo. And what happens when you do that is you learn skills. Developing those skills serves you really well as you continue as an artist. In my first years of painting, I would take a photo and I would, I did some people and I would paint them as exactly as I could down to every last whisker. And it was the most tedious thing in the world. And I still wanted realism, but I wanted my paintings to improve. And that leads me to number three, composition. Gloria Miller once said, composition is the heart of a painting. Without a heart, there's no value. There might be a little bit of emotion, especially if you're doing a person or if there's beauty in it. But it is nothing like what it can have if it has good composition. One of the things that I learned through Leon Zen was about the law of thirds. You divide your paper into thirds vertically and horizontally, and you pick one of those cross points and put your focal point there. And then in the diagonal cross point, you put a secondary focal point, and boom, you have a composition that's okay. There's still tons to learn about composition, but that is a really good starting place. There's other things to consider. You want your eye to rotate, and so you want the, there to be a cohesiveness. You don't want one spot that's so loud that everybody can only look at it. As you start with the law of thirds, you'll be able to branch out and do other things that are more involved and more complex. Number four, again from Gloria Miller, your values are the bones of a painting. Without the bones, the painting falls flat. There's no structure for it to hang on. As a result, you lose the 3D look. You really need values. I wish I had known that earlier. It's made such a difference. I have a whole video about it, and I'll have it on the end screen and a link in the comments for you to look at if you want to. Number five is I wish that I had realized how little color matters. Now, color matters. I like color better than black and white, but exact colors don't really matter. If you think about your photograph that you're trying to match perfectly and what it would look like in, in real life, let's say you're doing a flower and it's outside, it's going to have a whole different look than if you bring that flower inside and put it on your kitchen table. And then if you have the flower on a dinner with candlelight, it's going to have, the colors are going to look completely different again. So you can't really say, this is the right color. You can try to get close because you like that color, but it really doesn't matter nearly as much as the values. Gloria called the colors the skin of the painting. The composition is the heart. That's what matters the most. The values are the structure, the bones, and that's what matters second. And the color is the icing on the cake, and it matters, but it's not the most important thing. Number six that I wish I had learned was that self-criticism is not the same as self-critique. I remember going to my first critique and being very scared. I had criticized myself enough that I wasn't expecting nice, kind words, and I was kind of dreading it. But in the end, I learned so much from that critique. I would see paintings and go, there's something not quite right with that. 
either mine or somebody else's. And then we would do this critique in this class and they would, they would explain why. So critiques are wonderful things, but if you're hammering yourself about how bad you are and if you're insecure about your painting, it'll be hard for you to handle them. The best thing that you can do is not to look at it as your painting, but look at it as a painting and try to evaluate it yourself and notice those things that could use a little bit of adjusting. Painting can be a wonderful creative outlet, but you can totally ruin it if you're full of self-criticism.